back. <laughs> oh, say the morning prayer, everyone. Summer is the season for salads using... Okay, Stephanie, you're doing it again. You're in the shot way before I introduce you. Over here, over here. Over salads here. using all the freshly grown vegetables that you can find. Hey, and hey, why not pair that salad with a delicious wine? Today, two of our most popular <laughs> contributors are coming together <laughs> for the very first time. Please welcome foodie queen Stephanie Hansen, host of Taste Buds on Fox Local, and wine expert Leslie Miller. <laughs> Vacation. We were lonely. I, I missed both of you independently, and I missed <laughs> both of you together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, while I was gone, uh, you went ahead and got yourself your own show. I did. Yes. Yeah. It debuted. It debuted. I'll tell you, audience, Stephanie sent us a text, uh, like a group text uh, on the day it premiered. And uh, uh, Stephanie forgot that it's five hours behind in Hawaii. So she sent it at about one o'clock in the morning. Uh, so yes, yeah, anyway, congratulations, Thank love. Thank you, congratulations. I'm so excited. Leslie, when are you getting your own show? Yeah, I yeah she's gonna right. be our yes. next spin-off. That's right. These, you're looking at my Rachel Rays here. That's right, yeah. You're finding all this amazing talent um, in the marketplace. Uh, but go to Fox Local. Download the app. It's really easy. Pick Minneapolis, and then you can see Taste Buds. I did check out the show. Uh, oh, fine. You did. It's gr I'm so darn proud of you. It's so fun. It's you cute. do such a good job. I'm so and excited. Yeah, about it. I, it's great. <laughs> okay. I uh, this is a coming together. I feel like this is the Avengers. Uh, yeah. Both oh, of you yeah. here. Yeah. Yes. So what? So what are we doing? This what are we Wonder doing? Wonder Woman Part Three that you wanted to yeah. see. So Leslie had the idea that we would come together with wine and summery salads because why not? And why not? Picnics. Yes, and wines that are easy, obviously, to find. Traditional wines, but also to put in a wine that's a little bit outside the box. Oh. Uh, to give you some ideation behind, like, hey, what what can I actually pair to this that will make the perfect pairing? Well, and, and, and Stephanie, you're, you're, I mean, we have two segments, girl. You're already done with the salad. I mean, I, I mean <laughs> could you slow down a little bit? You're done with the salad already. What is that? She's taking the chicken out of the oven in just I a minute. I can't stop laughing. No, I have a lot to talk about. So I'm well, here. Well, you better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did you just do there? Okay, so I was in Italy for a couple of weeks. Yeah. And in Italy, there's the beautiful wines, but there's also all these wonderful tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So when we were talking about what would be like a good salad that would pair with wine, I obviously was thinking tomatoes. Yeah. So panzanella salad is like a Tuscan rustic salad. It's great in the summertime because it uses all those fresh tomatoes, but it also uses stale bread. Now, I know that doesn't sound awesome, <laughs> But Way it's to sell it, delicious. Stuff. Yeah, as you, the audience was stunned. But great, silent. Stale bread. Yeah, yeah. No, the idea is is that the bread soaks up all the juices of the tomato of the vinaigrette, so it gets real juicy and saucy. And then the croutons kind of absorb and they get a little softer. And by the time you're done, it's just a super delicious, flavorful salad that goes perfect with wine uses up a lot of the summer produce, doesn't have mayonnaise or anything again, so you can keep it out on a picnic table or serve it with a piece of fish for dinner. It's awesome. So that's, a little, um, we're looking at basically just all the ingredients, that's yeah. it. Yeah, and here's a little Hanson hack, because okay. I always try to give you a little, you know, if you don't have stale bread, which many of us don't, um, you can use the par-baked like baguettes or the ciabattas or the things that you buy already in the package, because those are already baked and they're chewy. And that's actually perfect for a panzanella salad. Okay. I toasted these just because I'm fancy, but I was doing it and I was like, why am I doing this? I could have used this bread right from the par baked bag and it would have been just as good. Now, are we going to pair that with something, Wine Diva? Yes. We are. We are. Should we start with the Niçois? Sure. Okay. So, Niçois is a French salad and it uses a Niçois olive, yes. Now, they're kind of hard to find sometimes, so I just used a Kalmata, but you're gonna have a little olive, and then again, you're using all this farm fresh produce that's in season. So this is a vegan version, which has chickpeas, quinoa salad, potatoes, beans, these came from my garden, and the tomatoes, and the um, basil is the garnish. And you make like a light champagne -y vinaigrette. I use champagne so that 
Leslie can pair it with a wine because I thought, why not? Yeah. Champagne vinaigrette. So what are we going to pair this with? So this is light, it's fresh, and it's kind of crunchy. And so I always think about like high acid, but also like just some lovely white wines to kind of snuggle into the potatoes, the chickpeas, and also the green beans. Okay. Now, when I talk about, because we're going to move into the fish here, but when I talk about white wines, people are always like, oh, they're always crisp. They are generally lovely and yes, a little bit fresher than reds, but this is a grape called Pinot Blanc. This would be something very, very easy for you to find. It's not Pinot Grigio. Pinot Gris, Pinot Grigio, one plant, whereas Pinot Blanc is right in the middle where it kind of goes with everything on the plate, including that little crunch to the green beans, but also, again, with the chickpeas and the potatoes. Are you okay over this? I'm like, yeah. wow. Yeah. It's <laughs> this fair. is good. It's a little pear. Yeah. It's a little grapefruit. It's a little fresh <clears throat> lemony garden smell. I really enjoy this. Yeah. This is real. This is. It's lovely. It's that's a great word. It yeah. is lovely. It uh, is out of uh, it's alcohol it feels out of fancy. the Willamette. It yeah. does. <laughs> it's it does. not that fancy. Willamette not. is uh, makes great wine. So yeah. Leslie, I have found some of the best wines at your shop that I had no idea about the grapes. Yeah, she's the best. Yeah. Well, and Steph is the best too. They're sticking around. More salads <laughs> and wine pairings when we return. Back in a moment. <laughs> that's really good. And wine diva Leslie Miller, we're pairing uh, great salads with great wine. What's the next salad, Stefaroo? Okay, the next salad is very similar. It just has a grilled tuna instead of the chickpeas and the couscous. The dressing's the same. So what I like about this is it's great for a party because you can beautiful. serve the tuna on the side with the vegan accoutrement on the side, and then everyone can kind of plate up based on their needs. This one has a hard-boiled egg too, which is real traditional. Again, same type of vinaigrette. So what would you pair with that with the fish, Leslie? So two things that go on here. Fish oil. This is a really fun, speaking of hacks, these are really good tips to just kind of stick in your little wine basket. Um, what, fish oil and actually wines that have lived inside of a barrel do not pair together. It's sort of like oh. nails on a chalkboard. They just don't interact well. And no it Cabernet, feels no like, Chardonnay. Well, Cabernet also just overpowers this entire dish, but also Chardonnay that lived in a wood barrel, right? So you do like a stainless steel style. But, you know, I wanted to get a little bit more interesting here too. This, you know, when I think of like Italian, now obviously this is a French dish, but this is a really fun little white grape called Arnaise. And Arnaise is a great alternative for that in between. If you like the Pinot Blanc, which again is medium weighted, I always call the medium weighted section of, of wines, not light, not full, the Goldilocks of wines, because they really kind of pair to everything. So this has a little bit more of that crunchy mm -hmm. minerality to it. It, yes. And then again, it kind of livens up. It has that fresh lemon side. Again, eggs and wine that are that lived inside of a, a wood barrel, an oak barrel, they don't match. They collide immediately. So you always want something that lived in a stainless steel barrel. No that's wood. A, see, it, even if we're not fancy like you two, that's we can remember that. If yes. it, yeah, don't mix if it's don't lived in a barrel. Don't go with big oaky something. No, yes. no oaky with fishy. That's right. There we go. <laughs> no oaky that's, with fishy. Y'all laugh, but that's how you will remember it. That's right. Okay, now it. are we going back to this salad? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so this is the panzanella bread with the stale, I know, it doesn't sound exciting salad. But with this one, you are from Tuscany, so mm -hmm. you've got a little more joie, joie, joie. We've got onions <laughs> in here. I just made a simple vinaigrette with, again, the champagne vinegar, because I wanted to use that and show how you can highlight it in lots of different dishes. So while I toss this up, what do you have for us? So traditional here, we have tomatoes. Excuse yeah. me, Steph. There we go. <laughs> go tomatoes. Ahead. So tomatoes and Sangiovese, they're an iconic pairing. If you put these two together in textbooks, this is really, we always describe the grape Sangiovese as kind of having sort of like a tomato water, tomatoey sort of edge to it. This has to, this is one banger, you guys. This is one bang for your for your buck. It's under fifteen dollars. Woo! I we, like that. Like all these wines are in that category. You know, I love the whole idea of finding you know all these great wines for you know fifteen dollars and under. And this is Carpazzo, uh, which I have to say it lives 
like on tap at our house. Oh, <laughs> I like we things on tap. Love it. It's great for flatbreads and kind of all of the above. I, um, a one banger for $15. I'm uh, loving it. Yeah, that's right. Totally. Yes, Ooh, but look at that. Here is Leslie. the magic sauce. Here's the sauce, you she guys. She knows what? I like sparkling Here's wine, the so tea. I know I'm in trouble. Okay. So this thing is going to. Do I have to put this one down, or no. can I just. Okay, I'll put that one down. Okay. <laughs> this thing is going to light your hair on fire. Oh, really? yeah. I like that. <laughs> this also. Okay, but just to. I want to be sure, because mm -hmm. I'm jet lagged. Uh, this also goes with this one? It does. Okay, yes. what is this now? So you know me, I love a good bub, and I love fire. Finding really fun, unusual little things that will pair to again step outside the box, you guys, and also dream. Step are out. You, are you going to make it through this? No, segment? I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, go ahead. This is like my dream life right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Leslie. Drink everything. Like, yeah. try try on all the things, right? Like, if you want to do a beer to this or you want to do Cabernet to Drink this. everything. <laughs> all the time. <Yeah. laughs> but, you wow. know, I do love a good sparkling wine. And oh. sparkling will cut through the natural fats here. So a little bit of that olive oil. And this rosé will, like, just be BFFs with those tomatoes. And let me tell you, I cannot stop drinking this tea so oh uh i i can't I let me can't. tell you i can't i've never uh, oh. heard of that before either that is really a great glass slap of wine. my butt and call me esther this is good <laughs> this is real good this is great okay we're gonna drink so this delicious. in the commercial break uh now if you want more uh, head to leslie's website amusewine.com and if you're in this twin cities or visiting us check out her amazing store sit better for stephanie her website is stephaniesdish.com and don't forget to watch her new show taste buds on the fox local app we're gonna take a break we're not done with these two we're gonna make <laughs> them play a game after we've drank wine after we drink when, when we return this is so good oh.